name is Richard and today I'm going to show you how to install our compact EM valve on Jeep JLs with a 2.0 turbo option. In front of me I have our dual port. This is the TS-0223-1086. This is the option that allows you to vent the atmosphere while also recirculating. We also offer our plumback option which is a 100% recirculation valve. That is part number TS-0223-1286. All right, before we get to installation, let me go and show you what comes in the box so you know what to expect. So we got a TurboSmart decal right here. We have the instruction card, which is probably how you found this video. And then we have the valve itself. Now, one thing to note, as you just saw, these O-rings can fall off. And if you install it without the O-ring, then you're gonna have a boost leak which can trip engine lights and whatnot, so just be wary of that. Some main features and benefits between our valve and the OE valve is ours is made from an aircraft grade billet CNC aluminum. This provides increased seal and durability. Durability in the sense that it allows for preventative maintenance in the future since it's a better made product. Our valve offers plug and play options with the electronics of the vehicle. Our products are proudly manufactured in Australia, which means they go through a rigorous quality control process. That means every valve is tested before it's even packaged. Let's go ahead and move on to the installation. Today we're gonna to be installing a dual port option onto a Jeep JL. The tools needed for the job is an eight millimeter wrench, as well as a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two nuts holding the engine cover in place. Once removed, you can lift the engine cover up and off of the standoffs. With the engine cover removed, you can now see the OE diverter valve. Locate the OE diverter valve's connector. To remove the connector, pull back the red tab to unlock the plug, then squeeze the plug and take it off. Using an 8mm wrench or socket, remove the three bolts securing the OE diverter valve to the charge pipe. Make sure to keep these bolts as they will be used to install the TurboSmart EM valve. With the bolts off, you can now remove the OE diverter valve. Hold on to this valve for safekeeping. When mounting the TurboSmart EM valve, it should be oriented as shown above. The solenoid will be facing downwards and towards the left-hand side of the vehicle. Take special care to ensure that the O-rings stay in place. Start threading in each bolt by hand. Using an 8mm wrench or socket, start to thread the bolts in equally. The charge pipe is made of plastic, so make sure not to cross-thread these bolts. Once the valve is mounted to the charge pipe, grab the connector and plug it in. To lock it in place, push the red tab down. Finally, place the engine cover on the two standoffs, then secure it with the two 10mm nuts. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Otherwise, follow us on our social media channels to see how we're keeping boost controlled.